How's it going, folks? So the band John Diva and the Rockets of Love have released, uh, I believe, one final single before their new album comes out this Friday, March 17th. It's called The Big Easy. So I thought, you know what? Uh, let me get one more reaction in there for a new song uh, from these guys before the, the new album drops. And the name of this song is The Limit is the Sky. So, yeah, I'm curious to see what, what they're bringing uh, some good old-fashioned rock and roll and whatnot. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's give it a listen. Get one final glimpse of what this new album uh, is going to offer. Rangers, go. Double dating to escape 
Another fun rock and roll romp from uh, the boys over at John Diva and the Rockets of Love. Uh, what can I say? You know, I, they just do such a good job, you know, with that kind of glam infused melodic rock. Uh, it, and, you know, it, their video, they, they clearly just have a lot of fun doing this kind of stuff. They're, they're kind of, they're goofballs out there just having a ball. And that it, it translates through the music because. It's just infectious, you know, as it goes. And, you know, this song, it, it doesn't really, like, blow my mind or anything like that, but you have to give credit where it's due. And what they do here is they do it very, very well. Like, it's very, very authentic uh, sounding, you know, with this style. Like, if this song came out, like, in the 80s or, or whatnot, it would have been all over the radio, and it would probably still be played, you know, today on, like, classic rock stations, or even sometimes, like, you know, maybe you'd hear it, like, at the supermarket or the mall or whatnot, you know, it's just playing on, on one of those uh, general, you know, radio loops, kind of, that, that they have going on, you know, similar to, like, Bon Jovi or, you know, some of the others where, you know, uh, some of those classic rock and roll songs from, from back in those days still get airtime, uh, you know, because it, it, it just has that sound. It, it's it's fun, it's catchy, uh, it's got great guitar work, and, and it just, like I said, it, it's a very kind of radio-friendly sort of uh, classic rock and roll kind of song where, like I said, if this had come out three decades ago, uh, you know, I feel like it just would have been all over the radio, and uh, you'd still probably be able to hear it um, today. So, uh, just the authenticity, the the way that they're able to capture that that sound, that the classic feel. You know, a lot of bands really strive for that, and you know, there's there's uh, a semblance. You know, there's there's elements that are that are very authentic, or you know, really capture that spirit, but. You know, in particular this song, and just these guys in general, but particularly this song, it, it, it just captures that feeling. Like, it, I feel like if you if someone didn't know this band, and you're like, oh, hey, check out this song, and you, you had someone listen to it, and you told them that it was from uh, this band from, like, the late 80s or something like that, they'd believe you. They would 100% believe you. <laughs> At least I think so, because they, they just capture that spirit and, and that vibe so, so well. And as far as the song itself, like I said, it's not mind-blowing, but it has a very good, you know, uh, infectious quality to it. It's nice and catchy, really great melody. You know, it's got the real kind of chant-worthy, you know, live setting, you know, party kind of feel uh, to it where, you know, everyone can sing along in the chorus, you know, with the band, you know, uh, the limit is the sky, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And it, it's just very engaging. And I think that's another thing that this band does really, really well is they engage with the listeners really well, whether you're at the, actually at a live show or you're just listening to the music, you know, it almost feels like you're part of the party with the band. I don't know. It's just the vibe that I get. You know, it's like you're listening to it and you can't help but kind of tap your foot and, and have some fun with it. But it, this song in particular, uh, I love the guitar work. You know, great guitar riffs, um, you know, great solo in there. Uh, the bass, I really like the bass work. You know, you can really hear it chugging along and, and doing its job there in, in the background, you know, keeping it kind of fun, a nice rhythm. Uh, the drum work was was really solid as well, but you know the guitar guitar work here in this band is always really great. You know, there's always a, a solid riff, a solid guitar kind of melody going that really kind of drives the spirit of the song. Um, and then the vocals, uh, you know, really great vocals. He, he's got a really strong voice. It suits this style so so well, and he captures the that that personality too, that that rocker kind of classic 
uh, rocker uh, personality really well too. And you know, he hams it up a little bit also, which also helps with the, just the fun factor, you know, I think. And you know, they just have a good time. And the melody was really great. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's just fun. Uh, you know, like and like I said, the chorus is very engaging and, and it's memorable. Like I'm gonna have that melody stuck in my head uh, for quite a while. You know, I think just be running through my head. The limit is the sky. Yada yada. You know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so yeah. Like I said, the, the song it doesn't blow my mind or anything like that, you know, I, I, but it, it, it just, it, it's so good at, at what it is. It, it's as simple as that, you know, the band, these guys, they're just so good at, at doing what they do and, and capturing, you know, I think the spirit um, and the sound of, of what they're trying to capture, the, the classic kind of glam infused uh, melodic rock. And I, they just do it so, so well. And the execution is there. Uh, the production is great. So what can I say? You know, I really got to hand it to these guys just, you know, really for, for doing what they do so well and, and having fun doing it. So I really think this new album, The Big Easy, coming out March 17th, this Friday, uh, I think it's going to be fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, I look forward to giving it a listen. And yeah, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it, uh, again, just for that authenticity sake and, and just the way that they engage with the listeners and, and how infectious it is. So that's really my thoughts on this song. Let me know, folks, in the comments down below uh, what you thought of this one. Are you looking forward to the new album? Are you longtime listeners of uh, John Diva and the Rockets of Love? Uh, what do you think about some of this new material? Uh, let's talk about it in the comments down below, and I'll catch you all next time. Ranger.